East Harlem was the kind of place where you stayed home after dark with your doors locked. Lorraine crossed the street and headed down Lenox Avenue when she detected movement in a doorway slightly behind her to her left. She drew her light jacket up tightly around her, tucking her purse in both arms under her bosom to hide it from view as best as she could. Her wrinkled ebony hands tightened around it, though she only had five dollars with her. Yet she knew that these predators could care less and would rob and beat a person out of sheer cruelty. Hey, Grandma! One of the gangsters called out to her as he walked behind her. Three of his fellows also loomed up from the darkness as they all began stalking her. You got change for a dollar. I need some change so I can get on the bus. She picked up her pace, moving as fast as her spindly legs would take her without breaking into a run. Two of her friends had been mugged over the past six months, and one of the women had been beaten so severely she had been blinded for life. Hey, old woman, you keep running like that and you're going to get hurt. One gangster cackled. They watched with amusement as a late model car cruised up to the curb alongside her, and Lorraine dodged away from it as she stumbled and ran. Oh, Lord Jesus, help me! She cried out as the gangsters trotted up to her, the car door opening as the driver rushed out to intercept her. Ain't nobody gonna help you, you old witch! One of the gangsters cackled. Wanna bet? The driver of the car turned to face them. Who the hell are you? They demanded. You don't want to know. Two of the gangsters whipped out switchblades, the eight-inch metal blades shooting out as the other two men began circling the dark figure and the cowering woman. The black-clad figure threw open its cloak and produced a strange-looking device that looked like a miniature leaf blower. The gangsters hesitated for one moment, which was long enough for the figure to take aim and fire the hoodlums to the right. The device belched out a thick cloud appearing as a pancake mix which completely engulfed the two muggers. They froze dead in their tracks, unable to see or breathe as their arms seemed unable to reach their faces. The figure pointed the device at the other two robbers, who turned and ran for their lives. Where do you live? The figure asked Lorraine. R right up the street a ways, she managed, still recovering from her fright. Come on, I'll give you a lift. The figure opened the passenger door, shoving one of the petrified muggers to the ground. The elderly woman slipped into the black Porsche as the figure closed the door behind her. The driver gunned the engine as the car burned rubber, leaving a cloud of smoke and the beginning of an urban legend in its wake.